648 time for the morning rush. The trial of a former APD officer accused of using excessive force on a man with disabilities has ended with a hung jury. Now, after deliberating on Friday night and continuing through yesterday afternoon, the jury could not decide whether former APD officer Kenneth Skeens was guilty. The case is expected to be retried. Meanwhile, the second trial of a man found guilty of murdering an Albuquerque veteran is set to continue. This comes after his initial conviction was overturned. Eight years ago, prosecutors say that Matthew Chavez shot and killed Tyler Lackey. That was near an ATM in southwest Albuquerque. Chavez was originally convicted of the murder, but that conviction was thrown out by an appeals court. The trial is scheduled to resume tomorrow morning. New Mexico State Police, along with University of New Mexico Police, were able to safely remove protesters who had camped out in the student union building overnight. This is the latest in a multi-day protest held on campus with protesters calling for UNM to call for a ceasefire in the ongoing Israel-Hamas war. It is not clear if any arrests have been made this morning. Erica. Here's a look at our school day forecast. Temperatures are cool this morning. You'll need some light layers. 80 this afternoon, a warm and sunny day. The state Supreme Court heard arguments over whether a former student can sue APS. That's over a racially charged classroom incident. Mackenzie Johnson sued the district in 2020, two years after she says that a teacher called her a derogatory term and cut another student's braids. A district court dismissed the case, but the Court of Appeals revived it last year. Bertolio County District Attorney Sam Bregman and Sheriff John Allen are going to be hosting a town hall meeting. The two will address community concerns and cover the progress of the criminal justice efforts in Bernalillo County, as well as take questions from the public. That meeting begins at 6 this evening at the Paradise Hills Community Center. The New Mexico Legislature is now looking to hire some full-time interns. The Legislature says that the interns are going to help with the day-to-day -day staff work, scheduling meetings, analyzing political issues, speech writing, and even tracking bills. The applicants must be enrolled undergrad students as well as or even recent graduates. The application deadline is May 17. Erica. Here's a look at our threat index. It is low today. We do have some chilly freezing temperatures up in northern New Mexico. Otherwise, it's going to be a hot afternoon in the southeast with mid 90s. Well, some New Mexico ranchers are concerned this morning as the USDA prepares to launch new safety rules for transporting cattle. The USDA will soon require electronic tags on most cows and bison that are at least 18 months old and are being transported on American highways. This comes as bird flu has now been found in dairy cows. The feds say that the new traceability system should help diseases from spreading. A nonprofit says that the city's proposed budget leaves out some key funding for the biopark. The biopark society says that around a million dollars in funding was not included for things like adding more staff or even running the new Asia exhibit. The group also says another $200,000 for rising costs was cut. The group is encouraging its members to write to city councilors. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is under some increasing pressure over the ongoing war in Gaza. Protests have ramped up in Israel, demanding Netanyahu make a deal to bring hostages home. However, hardliners and his ruling coalition say that his job is on the line if he delays the Rafah invasion. U.S. officials stated that without a plan to protect civilians, the U.S. does not support a Rafa offensive. Erica. All right, a check on traffic. The maps are clear, no accidents or slowdowns to report. And here's a look at the big eye. You could start to see that the exit ramps are becoming backed up, but the rest of I-40 eastbound is still nice and open. Well, fans, once again, they packed into an arena for a beloved Kentucky Derby festival tradition. The competitors, they were asked to decorate their beds and wear costumes inspired by the 150th run for the Roses. The Texas Roadhouse team finished the fet with the fastest time rather in the Champions Division. Time now for the five facts. At number five, the nonprofit that supports the biopark is expressing its concerns after saying the city's proposed budget leaves out key funding for the facility. The New Mexico Biopark Society sent an email to its members saying about $560,000 was not included in the budget to add more staff, nor was an additional $500,000 in recurring spending to run the new Asia exhibit. The group also says the proposed budget eliminates $200,000 for rising food and medication costs. The Biopark Society is encouraging its members to write city councilors and plan to speak at the upcoming council meeting next week. 
At number four, some New Mexico ranchers are concerned this morning as the USDA prepares to launch new safety rules for transporting cattle. The USDA will soon require electronic tags on most cows and bison that are at least 18 months old and are being transported on American highways. Well, this comes as bird flu has been found in dairy cows. The feds say that the new traceability system should help stop diseases from spreading. While the agency is planning to provide those tags to ranchers for free, many are worried about the costly implementation. At number three, it's going to be a warmer day out there and temperatures will climb from the low 50s currently into the 60s by around midday and the 70s throughout the afternoon. We should hit a high of 80 with light winds and mostly sunny skies. At number two, the trial of a former Albuquerque police officer accused of using excessive force on a man with disabilities has ended with a hung jury. After deliberating on a Friday night and continuing through yesterday afternoon, the jury could not decide whether former APD officer Kenneth Skeens was guilty. Now he's accused of dragging a disabled man, Matthew McManus, out of a Target store on the west side two years ago as McManus was trying to buy a bike. Well, the state argued that Skeens had no lawful authority to remove McManus from the store and pressured Target to let him do so. But the defense said that Skeens believed that Target did tell him to get McManus out of the store. That case is expected to be retried. And at number one this morning, the student union building on the campus of UNM has been cleared by state police after protesters set up camp inside. This is the latest in a multi-day protest held on campus with protesters calling for UNM to call for a ceasefire in the ongoing Israel-Hamas war. The protesters camped out in the sub overnight. while well, our crews on site say that the protesters graffitied the inside of the building. New Mexico State Police say that they had been assisting UNM PD with the protest. Last night, a UNM regent told News 13 that they had asked state police to remove the protesters from the building. It's not clear if any arrests were made.